This is Sunday, September 4th. It is what, about 8 o'clock in the morning or something, 7.30. This is the garbage that gets left out here on the road from the people that drive by at night. And this is what this looks like. This is the view from across the street from my house. And these are how close these people get to my car. Because these fucking assholes are going both ways. And the muddy mess that the lazy slobs in the back of the neighborhood, Baywood West, keep making through here. This is the view from across the street from my house. Because the bank over here is closed off the entrance. And look at how close they get to my neighbor's house across the street over here. They are literally driving headlights, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. And look at what they're doing. They're driving right next to these people's houses because these fuckers are too lazy to go out to the light. Or cars are coming in off the causeway. Look at the muddy freaking mess. And there's my house over there. And the HOA, the people live in the back of the neighborhood, these scumbags won't fix it. They could block this off or something. Instead, they do this. And it looks probably a lot worse in real life than it does here. And you can see there's just multiple, multiple tire tracks right next to my car. Garbage left out here. Luckily, my car hasn't been hit again yet. And this is miserable. They would drive north, September 4th, Sunday morning. These are more people that don't live here. This guy just came in, did a U-turn at Del Rio and Baywood North. And they come in off of Alternate 19. He's obviously trying to get out to the beach. He's got a boat in the back. He's like, you know what? I'll just do like everybody else does. Fuck it. I'll just drive right through the grass over the top of private property, right over to the causeway. And the HOA will not put a fence. They could spend 50 bucks and put a little chain link piece of fence or some rocks or something over there and they will not do it. Will not. About 7 o'clock in the morning. These are these nice people from Baywood West. When they go exercise, look at this. Better keep your drapes closed because this is what they do. They walk right up through the middle of your freaking yard. You know, I'm going to go exercise, but I'll take a gigantic shortcut right through somebody's private property. I don't care. Inconsiderate pricks in the neighborhood. This is 10 minutes after Brett probably just went to the liquor store. These people have no jobs. They don't do anything. This is the middle of the day on the weekend, or weekday, week, whatever. And this is just, just lazy ass people from the HOA who vote against not having speed humps and stop signs. But you know what? They just will drive right through the thing, tears up the grass. Just another wonderful way of living across the street from this crap HOA that they won't do any maintenance on and they let the people in the neighborhood drive through the mud real close to my car. Friday afternoon, there's a guy from the back of the neighborhood who's just, you know, too damn busy to go up to the traffic light like normal people, so they just drive through the freaking field, you know, make it muddier and messier. That's my view from across the street. Nice people from Baywood West, the HOA people. These are cars coming out of the back of the neighborhood. Stopping, looking, thinking about driving out on Alt 19. Don't want to be bothered with that. Fuck it. I'll just drive through the grass through the field. There's a second one. Some guy coming this way doing the exact same thing. And this is like traffic driving through the clubhouse, playground, parking lot area. These are nice people that live in our neighborhood. This is Sunday at 11 o'clock. There's a guy coming out of uh, Baywood Drive West and just too freaking lazy. Won't go out to alternate 19. You know, it's only around the block. No, fuck no, I'll just drive right through the grass. This, my cars get clipped, my mailbox is run over, my sprinklers are run over. This is a shitty place to live. This is Christine Hunt with her dog, President 
Tim Hunt of the HOA for the umpteenth time every day at 7 o'clock. These people in the back of the neighborhood from Baywood West, they speed, they honk, they drive through the freaking yards and stuff. And this is the other wonderful thing that they do. They bring their dogs up here and they let them take a shit in the front yard. They piss, they shit, who cares? At least she's decent enough to pick it up, which I guess is, wow, I should be really happy about. And after seeing this over and over and over, I finally gave her like a little attitude about it. I'm like, hey, you know, I was like, let your dog shit in your own yard. And she's yelling back at me, bite me, rah, 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 mind your own business, blah, blah, blah. This is the same people that filed an injunction against me. But I don't go down to their neighborhood. I don't go down there. I don't bother them. I sure as hell don't take my dogs down and let them shit in their yard like the hunts do, who I have a lawsuit against. Speeding, stop sign, everything that these people in the back of the neighborhood do sucks for us. And this is just one more example. This is Saturday. This is uh, more nice people from the back of the neighborhood. And when they don't feel like going out on alternate 19, eh, they just drive right through the middle of the freaking field or at the clubhouse. Don't need roads. When you live on Baywood West, we just go wherever the hell we want. This little side road is stopped. It's blocked off here. This is Sunday, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and here's one of my nice neighbors from the back of the neighborhood. Baywood Drive West not going to work or anything, nothing better to do, except they're too fucking lazy to go out on alternate 19, so they just drive their ass right through the freaking field, through the bank parking lot, sprinklers, sewer lids, whatever, don't care, Baywood West, this is Sunday, and here's his truck, big old dually, well not dually, but uh, big high uh, pickup truck, this is two minutes after the last fucking asshole did this, right past my car, through the yard, through the grass. These are the people that live up in the front of the, that drive up through the front of the neighborhood from Baywood West. It's about 10 in the morning. This is Brett Craftsman, the engineer, the engineer that doesn't really ever work. It's too freaking lazy to go and just use alternate 19. So you know what they do? They just freaking drive right through the field, make it all muddy, and they tear it up. These are the people that are on the HOA in the back of the neighborhood that vote against speed humps, and they do shit like this. There's more. This is country traffic. These are people that come off of alternate 19, and they drive right through the goddamn field across the street because they're too lazy to wait for the intersection. Not one, not two, and how about three? These are the lines of people that come off of alternate 19 and the freaking HOA will not do anything. That's why we're putting mulch and crap over here. Three cars. Monday morning. This is this guy, Tony. This turd. It's not even his real name. That's what he calls himself. This is a guy that's already vandalized my car. I was throwing a lit cigar. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to wait. You know what? I'll just drive off the road and through the grass and, you know, whatever. This is another one of the HOA people. This is how little they think of the people up here in front. Oh, this is, what, Friday, June 3rd. This is a Cadillac Escalade from coming back from Baywood North, or Baywood West. And this is just another fucking asshole that is just too lazy in his fucking Cadillac Escalade. So what do they do? They drive right through our park over there. They don't care. Sprinklers, whatever. Drain storm grates. Another day on lovely Baywood Drive North. Suck my ass. These are more cars out in front. another one. Cars cutting through. Umpteenth time. More cut through traffic. This is Monday afternoon and this is more of the stinking crap you have to put up with. People coming off of Bayshore come down, 
and they just drive right through this stinking abandoned building across the street. I'm going to put a park over here so they can track more people that do this crap. More traffic, more garbage. But you know what? Baywood West, back in the neighborhood, they don't have to contend with this. We do up here. This is Sunday, June 19th. I'm outside grilling and swimming. They want to put a park over here. The city of Dunedin, in its infinite wisdom, wants to put a freaking park over here. And these are the people, it, I see this every single day. They don't want to wait for Bayshore and, and going out to the beach. So what do they do? These fucking scumbags come off of Bayshore and they drive. Sprinklers, whatever, who the hell cares? Private property, and these motherfuckers drive through here. And this is, you know, it's not bad enough. We don't have this, the flooding and the speeding, and they won't put a damn stop sign in here. Now these fucking cocksuckers for the last two months because they have this little road closed off over here. I can only imagine if he closes it off permanently. There'll just be a steady stream off of Bayshore through here. You might as well just put a damn, you know, a freeway right through the middle of it. You know, this place doesn't suck enough. Fuck you, city of Dunedin. This is Saturday about 8 o'clock. And this is pretty much an everyday occurrence now. They have this road closed over, uh, off over here by the bank. And people will come in here. This isn't somebody who lives here. This is just some fucking jerk that comes in off of Alt-19. They're trying to get over to Frenchies. And nowhere else in the neighborhood do we have the chaos that goes on in the neighborhood. The speeders, people drive to the damn yard and stuff. And he's looking across the thing. And he's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just drive right through people's property, right across the lawn. It's one thing the golf cart does it, but this is people that are coming in off of Alt-19. Try going down to Baywood West. See how there's nothing there? Nothing in the grass right there? Watch this guy in the golf cart. Watch. Take your bottles. Ah, just throw your fucking bottles out on there, right next to my car. This is Thursday, May 26. See that guy right there? This is one of the worthless turds that live in the back of the neighborhood. He's on a golf cart. Nothing better to do. Probably doesn't even have a freaking job. Goes driving through, past the front of the house. Hey, I'm on a golf cart. And what's he do when he gets right here? Takes his fucking bottles and stuff. Look at this. Throws damn beer bottles out on the road. And then cuts through the freaking grass. Wanna live on Baywood North? This is what you get. These are the nice people from Baywood West that come from the back of the neighborhood. When you get right here and they don't feel like going out to the Alt-19, they just drive through the freaking field. This is a playground with a shuffleboard court. And that's what people from the back of the neighborhood and how they treat the front. Sunday morning. This is Brett the engineer coming down the street. And this is a guy that I swear to God it doesn't work a day in his life. Has nothing but time on his hands. And this motherfucker is so lazy he does his shit. Drives right through here. Drives right through. You know, God forbid, it's a Sunday, you go out on alternate 19, like 99% of the rest of us do. Just another scumbag from the back of the neighborhood. This is a car coming off of Alt-19, got tired of sitting in traffic. Like, what the fuck? I'll just drive through people's private property, man. Don't even care if there's somebody behind me. I'll get right through the field. Eh, who cares? And they want to put a park over here, invite lots of people. More people like this. There goes property values. This is Thursday, April 28th. See so this car driving across here? This is what people from Baywood West, the snooty ass people in the back of the neighborhood, they're complaining about my car being parked on the side of the road. When they close off this access road, this is what they do. They drive to the goddamn field because they don't want to have to drive around o'clock in the afternoon. This is another look. They want to put a park over here, a city park, so they can invite a whole bunch of people. Look at this fucker. Almost clips the back of my car. And this is people. I think it's Brett, actually. He has a lightning thing on the back of his car. This is a guy that doesn't even have a damn job, so it's not like he has anything but time. But, you know, too fucking lazy. Just drive through the middle of the playground. And they want to make a, a park over here. Let's invite a whole bunch more people to do that crap. Literally a minute. This is Dr. Karen and her big Jew canoe. See the little sign on there? Gee, I don't want to have to drive and go out on alternate 19. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll stop my big Cadillac Escalade. Think about it for a couple seconds. Back up. 
still thinking about it. And you know what? I'll just do a little off-roading in my Cadillac Escalade. I'll just run my car right through the goddamn field. Look at, she's still thinking about it. Backing up, backing up, backing up. Could be sprinklers out there. Who the hell cares? Let's take my big Jew Canoe Cadillac Escalade and drive through the goddamn field. Who cares? Because I'm so lazy that I can't go out on alternate 19 on Friday. Can't be bothered with that. I'll just drive through the damn park. These are the Baywood West people. Day two, uh, that little access road being closed. And this is what these fucking jerks from the back of the neighborhood do. They don't want to go through that little the little road that's closed off now. So what do they do? They drive right through the fucking grass, over the curb. There's a shuffleboard court over there. They just drive, you know, it could be somebody's property, there could be sprinkler heads over there. They don't give a shit. Welcome to Baywood North in Del Rio. This is Friday night. My dogs are barking like hell. I'm in the pool. This is my friend Tracy. Say friend. I mean, I get along with her like really good. You know, well, look at her. She comes over here, look, freaking crashes right into the damn bushes. She's laying here as this car goes by. She wrecks. You know, it's lucky one of the speeders didn't run her over. I'm sure she's really humiliated. She freaking wrecks. And I didn't see her do it, but... Anyway, get back up on your bike. I'm going to show her the video, give her a shit about it. Go bad. But I mean, you know, look at Tracy, this lady riding her bike. Now she sees a car coming down Baywood, and so I guess she panics and can't stop and poof, crashes into the front of my yard. As the car goes by, luckily he slowed down, he doesn't stop to help her or anything, because that's how the dicks in the back of the neighborhood, that's how they roll. And then, oh my god, I'm super humiliated. I'm going to push my bike back to Baywood West. I like Tracy, by the way.